Palmetto Ford F-150 Sports Desk. Get the best total deal guaranteed. Palmetto Ford Lincoln. For 47 years, the Lowcountry symbol of trust. It's been labeled the key game for Will Muschamp in his first year as the head coach of the Gamecocks. South Carolina and Gainesville for facing the Gators in the Swamp a Place. Muschamp used to call home not too long ago. To Steve Spurrier Field we go. The head ball coach's name gracing the press box there onto the field. Florida got the scoring started their first drive of the game. Austin Albi to Siante Lewis for a six yard score. It's seven nothing. Same score second quarter. Appleby drops back throws back to the end zone, finds Ahmad Fullwood. He beats Jamarcus King. It's 14-0 for Florida. Will Muschamp needs his offense to keep this defense off the field. In the fourth we go, the Gators lead 20 to zip. Gamecocks get on the board with a one-yard touchdown from David Williams. It's 27, but Florida hangs on 20-7. For more on USC struggles, we'll send it to Evan West, who's down in the swamp. The Gamecocks flew into Florida with their wings clipped. The slow start plagued them offensively, even with the defense giving them plenty of chances. On Florida's second drive of the game, they were 22 yards from the end zone when the Gamecocks forced a fumble, one of three turnovers recovered by USC on the day, but they failed to do anything with it. It's like their feet were stuck in the swamp. Only 43 yards rushing on the day, and when the Gamecocks scored their first points of the game, there was only six minutes left. Not enough time for Muschamp's team to stage a comeback. They have very tight coverage down the field, so there's not a lot of open throws when you play against that defense. You you, you got tight throws, and you got to be able to, 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 to fit the ball in. A lot of times, you got to have C guys and create separation in the route. So they got good rushers. You know, I feel like you know we had our own self-inflicting and like thoughts, like people probably like doing their own thing. But like in the second half, we turned that over. So. You just can't start off slow against a team like just like that. So, even with Muschamp losing in his return to Florida, the Gamecocks don't have to finish the season as losers. With a five and five record, they return home next weekend to take on FCS Western Carolina. A win for South Carolina would make them bowl eligible. Reporting here from Steve Spurrier, Florida Field. I'm Evan West for News Two Sports.